Hello, Artists and Art Bros. Today, I'm going to rank my UST plates from first year to second year and just go to a trip to memory lane and let's just go so first of all oh i added it here this one this first plate that i saw because this was from first year and i don't like that subject very much but i learned a lot i covered up the mistakes that i made there so yeah this just me and then this one I think it's a pretty good idea but bad execution because as you can see, you know, what I thought in mind wasn't what I've done here. It is just a sticko on top of each other because I can't think of anything at that moment. It's Christmas themed so I just stick it and call it a day. So yeah, I don't think it's a pretty execution but I still use it right now I don't use it that much now but it's still here and the plastics are still here you can see the markers yeah also the acrylics are allergic to the gesso so yeah it's not that pretty but yeah okay next off is this one I want to redo it because it's pretty like the concept is pretty but i don't think that it is unified like as a whole because it's paper paper cutting and it should be you know have a flow or something with the land and with the lake as well as you can see the mountains are simplified so i'd like to have some more texture to it if i can now because that was so long ago, like first year. So, yeah. And this one is, I want to throw away because it's just, I think, trash. <laughs> also, this one, I don't like it. I mean, it's a line art, like one line art, but yeah, I could have made that better. But I was first year back then, so. And then this one is. I think it's pretty good I don't want to redo it because you know it's part of my progress but I think it's pretty good like it can hold up that right now because uh, it is simple but also you know complicated what I would do right now if I'm going to paint that is maybe change up the colors because it's not cohesive at all and then also darken the shoulders here the part here because as you can see, phone is lighting up her face. So this must be lighter and then this one must be darker. So yeah, that's maybe what I'm going to change about it. But it's pretty good for, I think, uh, a second year art student. That's pretty nice. Then this one, mm, it's just meh because the placements are off. But I really like the choking not sponsored choking box there this one i think this ain't it sis mm -mm. i think the idea is there but the concept and the composition is not that good and also the typography sucks also this one there's no depth going on i don't know if it's the pastels or the paper itself but no i don't like it i don't like it and then this one is gonna say mid it's nothing grand it's nothing that bad you know just mid and then this one okay i wanna redo this one i don't think the typography is that good either but i like the way i did the poster like the faces are off of course and the silhouettes but if I remade this right now, I think it would look much better. For sure. I'm gonna say bad idea and good execution. I mean, the plate itself is not that, you know, engaging. Because our professor told us that we should make 8 frames for like an animation. But then change the proportion. So it's kind of weird because 
it would not look consistent. You know, in animation, it should look consistent, right? And now, looking back at this, the prompt doesn't make much sense. But it was easy at the time, so I didn't mind it. But right now, I think it should be consistent, you know, with the figures. This one is... I'm stuck between meh and this eight it, but yeah, just meh. It's a speed drawing, so... This one, I'd like to throw away. This was the part that I had art block in this typography class. And I just made this one. Didn't quite think it through because it is supposed to be the logo for like my business. It doesn't represent me that good. So I'd like to throw that away. This one is, uh, I think, good idea but bad execution. I really like the composition of it. It belongs in a set. It is good, but I'd like to redo it as well if given the time. And this one is just this in it. Doesn't look Japanese. This one is... <coughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry for that. This in it. I'd like to throw this away, typography again. Let's throw that away. This one is mid, at least, because I see the effort and it's okay. This one is, I'd, I'd like to say it's pretty good, but there's not enough depth, so I'm going to put it to mid. Then this one is... Yeah, I'm going to put that to portfolio. The first one, because I think in freehand, five-point perspective is pretty good for that. This one is, hmm, I don't know if I'm just being too harsh on myself, but I'm going to... You know what? This ain't it just. Because the caption is pretty good, like the concept of it. Oh, I'm just going to put it here. This one is, I think, here. Because I really like the wig and the crown, but I could do better for this one. And also the scars and the marks on her face. Doesn't look really that good for a terrifying look. This one, I'd say it's pretty good. Actually, I had like a mental breakdown there when I was making it because it was the deadline and I just panicked a lot because the clay that I bought just stuck. I couldn't move it that much because it's supposed to be a kinetic art. But I'd say for a design standpoint, that's pretty good. You know, it's not that interactive. Then this one is, let's say it's just mid. This one is, I'd like to redo it. Because I really like Shrek and I think the villains are, are one of the reasons why I also like Shrek. And I didn't give them justice because the clay that I used wasn't good. You know, it was a homemade clay and it turned out bad because of the rough texture. I'd like to redo it with a much better mixture of homemade clay or just an air dry clay. And then this one is mid. I like the composition, the anatomy not so much. This one is, uh, I like to say pretty good, but no. I think I like the colors, but it's not engaging in the eyes that much. I think it should be more poppy, you know? This one is good idea, bad execution, because I like the sketch better than what I colored it in because I don't like gray and then you're going to put primary colors on top of that it's no it's... no and then this one bad idea good execution uh it was supposed to be simplistic but I don't like simple things I'd like it to be more you know vibrant and funny I think maximalist styles this one it's really hard to do, especially the lettering because we were supposed to do it, of course, in a straight line. And then this one, this breakthrough is, I wanna throw it away. 
Then this one is pretty good. I really like the character designs and I also made it like a jean str structure. No. What I mean in this section is Punnett Square. This is an accurate genetics but fun to create. Especially I learned this as a STEM student but I applied it in the arts. I also made it like a family tree. So it's pretty fun to do this character designs of this family for my animation and you can check it out on my youtube as well and also the animation is also pretty good except for the last parts we don't talk about that next one is this i think it's a bad idea no i'm torn about this one i think it's a good idea the sketch however is what i like more than the final output so when i made the final output it was not that good. I used poster paint and gouache for this. This one is... I'm gonna say just mid. Just copied off of the internet for some artifacts. So, hmm. This one, I'd like to throw away. Bye. Also, this one. This one is good idea but bad execution. Because I really like the joker face you know with the happy face there and then like a serious face there but the focus of the subject is not that good and it's too close up now we proceed to this one yeah it's pretty good for a 30 minute challenge and this one i'd like to i want to throw it away but then it's our kitchen so i want to redo it and then this one is Let's put it there. Good idea but bad execution. Because it's a photo of my mom when she graduated college. And I restored the photo for her. But it was a pretty nice sentimental thing to do for my mom. But I don't think I gave her justice in her beautiful graduation gown with those colors. I even asked her what are those colors and yeah i don't think i matched her skin tone as well so and then this one is a video also on my youtube i'm gonna say this in it this one is i'm torn between this one like, i'm gonna put it to mid if i'm going to redo it right now i'm not going to put the cardboard on top of the paint for too long because when i peeled it out some of the cardboard was still on the paint so you can see some brown spots there then next is this one the colors no also i'd like to throw that study away it looks pretty cramped and the proportions are all off every typography is not that good and then what is that face and then this one, I'd like to redo it because it is not engaging as a game poster, I feel like. But I think it has potential for the layout and the background of it. This one is also belong. This plate belongs to a set of 10 photos. And this shot is pretty good because the composition for me is good and I think the yellow background suits the color of my brother. Then this one, I'm gonna say, it's say pretty good. I don't like the pattern that much, you know, but if I only spaced it out further, I think that would look pretty good because it symbolizes the sesame seeds on the bun this one this is portfolio material yay second portfolio material in this batch of wow i am harsh on myself and then this one the hands are throwing me off not literally yeah, i'm going to put it to mid because i like the composition and the colors the hands though and the lines are jiggly Money don't jiggle, jiggle. You know, it doesn't look structured enough, is what I'm saying. But I really like the concept of it. And this one is... I'm not going to be too harsh myself, but it's pretty good. I would say that it's not half bad. I think what I enjoyed here the most is the skies. 
in the clouds because I like rendering them and the rocks as well it's pretty good to have a contrast on the soft clouds versus the rough rocks on this I think this is pretty cool the orbs and the vandal is kind of sussy though and this one I am serious I throw that away I actually threw that away a month ago and this is the video of me executing it, killing it, literally. I just put it on the trash and I no longer look back. But I saw that again on my YouTube video. And you know what? It is permanent there. Just stays on the internet. But in my house, no. <laughs> no, it is removed. It is gone from the planet. It is nowhere to be found. Bye-bye. And this one is, I'd like to say, redo it. I'm not pretty sure what went wrong there. If it is the carving or it is actually the paint. Because I only put linseed oil with printer ink. And it's splotchy. Like the page didn't move too smooth. So I'd like to redo it. I still have the carving in here this one last but not the least i like to say mid doesn't look like me though and also the dress is low effort i literally put just blue vectorized shape to make it look like my shirt there so and also i don't like the hair color i don't think it suits me anyways it's done i've made this amazing ranking usd plates for my first year and second year the mid ones are prevalent on this but i'm glad that i saw some pretty good things in there that i have a lot to improve on and i have also improved as well from my first year and right now i'm doing much better so i thank my dedication for this craft and I hope that I'd still do much better for the future and hopefully I would make more art that is pretty good <laughs> and not that throw out. So that's it for the day guys. Thank you for watching and if you have any favorites on my plates, comment it down below. And if you want to also throw away one plate of mine, what would it be? Bye-bye!